so in this last week of traveling I went to different beaches and enjoyed my time there so right now I'm kind of just chilling in a hotel room well hostel but I have my own room in Manta mm. Which is okay. I will go and visit some like nice beachy things tomorrow and I have to say that I am like so exhausted um, from traveling. It's amazing but also it's very exhausting because you're with multiple people in a room. You're like seeing and meeting the most amazing people, making a lot of friends but also Everyone does their own thing, so like maybe you spend some time with someone or multiple people, but they like they have their own plans and they go their own way, so then you separate again. And it's amazing in a way, but also like take a lot of night buses and uh, like I said, you sleep in a room with a lot of other people, so your sleep's not always the best. So I'm, I'm happy I have some like my own room for like at least two days to get a bit back and today I went to the beach and I registered for my classes because my classes start Monday and right now it's Thursday Wednesday Thursday already Friday I don't know um, but it's soon so I will go to some other beaches and maybe an island and then I am back um, and then the real deal starts my classes are very, very a lot yeah and it took me like a few hours to like finally make all of it fit um, and then the traveling will be over that makes me quite sad also culture shock classes on Saturday yeah I would say that's the most culture shock I've had until now who has classes on Saturday like what I wanted to travel in the weekends. Well, okay, I will still do it. Just have to talk to the teacher. Um, but yes, so probably Sunday morning I will go home and then get get a lot of sleep, do groceries and stuff because that's to happen. And now I will chill and sleep and enjoy the last few days of travel before class starts I haven't really filmed a lot the last few days because I didn't do that much after I came back from the Amazon I spent one day in Quito not doing much um, and I met some friends then we went to the gym and then the day after I decided to go travel uh, to Manta, which took like 10-11 hours, which was a lot of hours. Just one entire day basically, and the night before I went out, I was so hangover, so it was like my own stupid fault, but yeah. And then, like I said, yesterday I came here very late, and then... I did it, yeah, this morning I had to like do all the classes and then I went to the beach. Tomorrow I will go to other places, like I said. They're picked. That you couldn't take us too seriously. I must admit I was relieved. Cause I never wanna play happy families with you, but I like having you around. Fully aware this is a flash in the pan But we can still have fun for now So when you stop paying so much attention And when you're moving in another direction Don't worry, I get it I meant what I said when I said it, lady I never want to look at a house in the garden I never want to lock you down I know you're not mine 
it's just my turn But we can still have fun for now No, I never wanna play happy families with you But I like having you around I'm fully aware this is a flash in the pan But we can still have fun for now Yeah, we can still have fun for now Oh, we can still have fun for now You couldn't take us too seriously I must admit I was relieved Cause I never wanna play happy families with you But I like having you around I'm fully aware this is a flash in the pan But we can still have fun for now So, doing a food haul. So, I went to the supermarket to buy some essentials, and I'll put them in my cupboard. Um, to say it's like I paid 40 wow well, like 44 I think yeah 44 um, 45 basically dollars which is different in euros but not that much like okay first things I needed was something a food container so I bought two that expensive, like a small one, which I want to take an avocado to school or something. Then I bought cheese because I want to make a salad, but I bought ricotta and never tried it in a salad. But I want like like goat cheese um, feta, but it was like six dollars. I was like, like it's really nice because some things here are like super cheap, like especially if you go to like fruit and vegetable markets, they have super cheap um, fruit and vegetables and things like last like two vlogs ago it's like eight dollars and i had like two full bags of fruit and vegetables but a lot of things they also don't have here or are expensive like cheese very expensive also haven't really had good cheese so um oil very necessary oh no <coughs> And fit in my cupboard. Okay, I'll just put it like laying. Um, an onion. Um, some chips. Some broccoli. And the onion will go. No, the onion I will make for salad, so I'm keeping it. This will go. And we have the bread, which is kind of the hardest, and I think that's bread I can find. Um, I'm gonna do half in the freezer. I miss my good bread from Belgium and Netherlands. Okay. Then we have toothbrush because mine is going bad salad for the salad I'm gonna make my own nasa because of course we need that and some um, vegetable um, like things because I think because I'm gonna be working out a lot it's good to have um, the parsley rice It's one back, okay, the other. First off, we have spices. We have basilicum, we have curry, we have pepper. We 
have garlic. Oh, it's garlic salt. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I was planning on just buying garlic, but okay. Uh, and pepper. So that's good. More chips. It's really hard. Apparently, like, I feel like um, in Belgium and Netherlands, blue means always like pepper, paprika. And here it's natural. So I was trying to find paprika, but they didn't have it. They have a lot of different types of like chips, but like made of banana, made of, but no, no paprika. I bought a chopping board because there's no one in the house and I need one. So it's like fine. Okay. I have two apples. I should make a fruit basket in my room, maybe. Bananas. Maybe put two out, two in the fridge. I should just put it in the fridge. I don't know. Then we have yogurt, which another story. It's also very expensive, but I really like Greek yogurt and I feel like it's a really important part of my diet. Um, oh, I have to be fast because my phone is going to die. They paid like two, two fifty dollars for one. It's, it says it's 500 grams. So this is like one kilo together. Yeah, it's a lot. But I need it. Then we have vegetable snacks. I know the run, but I like it. Paprika for the uh, fruit thingy. Two avocados, which one is for tomorrow. This can go. No, this I'm putting it in. So this in the fridge. Perfect.